if you have and manage your own website and right now it's just made up of basic HTML files, maybe you wrote them yourself, maybe you used a what you see is what you get HTML editor to create them, whatever, if they're just basic HTML files with a link to go to another HTML file, I suggest you use or look into using a content management system. My blog, which is jackie.com, it's to the side. I've probably just pointed to the wrong side of the video. But anyway, it uses WordPress from WordPress.org. Now, WordPress.org can be, although it's a blogging platform, it could be it, it could be used for any website, whether it be a blog or just a collection of static pages, because WordPress is capable of creating pages as well as blog posts. You don't need to actually use it as a blog but that's what it's designed for. So y you could call that a content management system. There are some, there are many others though, and I've been, I I've just received an email from Andrew, who has suggested two, the first of which is Joomla. Now I've actually used this before. Um, it wasn't as user friendly when I used it as I would have liked it to be. It, it worked though, this is more for a website with a lot of community based features rather than just a blog which is all WordPress kind of does. WordPress comes with a, has a lot of available plugins also which enhance and add more features to it which it, that that's a really good good thing about WordPress but Joomla is more for a community based portal kind of site. This third one that I'm going to talk about again recommended by Andrew I've never heard of before e107.org e107.org just the letter e um is a content management system there's not m that much information about it on the home page but what can you expect from a content management system if you don't know what one is by the way it I'm not sure how to explain this it basically you install it onto a web server so if you've got no idea what I'm talking about already then you might want to seriously consider it before you just dive into downloading one of these you need to download all, it's usually PHP files and a lot of other kind of files and you upload it to your web server or wherever your website is hosted so you need FTP access or another suitable way to upload a lot of files all at once and then it installs itself, it creates databases usually and with WordPress for example I can then go to jackie.com slash WP admin I can log in, other people can log in and it creates a blog for me so I don't have to create new HTML pages if I want to create a new page I just click create new page, type the actual content for that page and it creates the whole thing, it adds the sidebar, the header and it, it, as the title suggests, it helps with the management of the content on your website so, I, the only one I've really used a lot is obviously WordPress so it's the only one I can really talk about but you, if you're looking for one take a look at Joomla that's a J-O-O-M-L-A dot com dot org, sorry Joomla dot org and E107 dot org and also wordpress.org if you want to find that. Remember there's a difference between wordpress.org and wordpress.com a lot of people seem to get confused over that. Wordpress.com is where you can just go and create a blog and they host it and there's nothing for you to worry about like install and stuff and it's nice and simple. Wordpress.org has a lot more features but you need your own web hosting somewhere you need to install it yourself it's a bit more complicated but it allows you to use plugins, it lets you create your own themes and it's a, lo it's a lot more powerful so wordpress.org, joomla.org e107.org uh, I'm just guessing that's how you'd say it e107 there might be some completely different way to pronounce it my website as I've mentioned a couple of times in this video now jackie.com jak-e.com and that's where you find my blog, powered by WordPress.org, my and a lot of pages also created with WordPress. 
Um, so you'll find my live stream, live chat, and lots more. Thanks for watching.